I see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats KTM itself has opened its doors to Jorge Martin. In fact, this Austrian manufacturer reportedly offered Martin a salary greater than Aprilia's offer. Of course, Marc Marquez's presence and brilliant performance at Ducati is indeed a threat to Martin winning the factory Ducati team seat. Many consider Marquez worthy to replace Inia Bastianini next year. Therefore, Martin seems to be taking firm steps regarding his future in MotoGP with Ducati. Because KTM, as one of the manufacturers that was widely rumored to be the place where the six-time MotoGP world champion landed, instead closed the door to him. It was Pitt Beirer, KTM's motorsport director himself who said that Marc Marquez was not their target for MotoGP 2025. MotoGP observer Carlo Pernat assesses that the arrival of Marc Marquez to the Ducati factory team has the potential to have a bad impact. One factory Ducati team seat which currently belongs to Inia Bastianini is being contested by at least two other names. Will Ducati take a firm stance on this commotion? Will Martin stay with KTM? Is the Ducati boss ready to accept Marc Marquez even if the storm hits? Keep watching until the end to get complete information. And here is the full news. The arrival of Marc Marquez to the Ducati MotoGP team squad this year seems to be good news as well as causing headaches for the Ducati team principals. Marc Marquez's neat performance using the Ducati Desmosetisi GP23 in the last five series certainly made Ducati happy. However, at the same time it is also confusing because there is now a hot war over the factory team seats for next season. Most recently, Jorge Martin reportedly gave threats and a specific deadline for Ducati to sign him as Peco Bagnaia's companion next year. Door for Marc Marquez Martin reportedly threatened to sign a contract with the KTM factory team if Ducati did not make a decision at the time he had set. The current leader of the MotoGP racer standings gave Ducati a deadline of June 2nd or to coincide with the Italian MotoGP series at Mugello. Jorge Martin and Marc Marquez are the two riders most likely to replace Inia Bastianini at the factory Ducati team next year. KTM itself has opened its doors to Jorge Martin. In fact, this Austrian manufacturer reportedly offered Martin a salary greater than Aprilia's offer. Of course, Marc Marquez's presence and brilliant performance at Ducati is indeed a threat to Martin winning the factory Ducati team seat. Many consider Marquez worthy to replace Inia Bastianini next year. Therefore, Martin seems to be taking firm steps regarding his future in MotoGP with Ducati. It is interesting that Marquez or Martin will be chosen to accompany Bagnaia next season. On the other hand, MotoGP observer Carlo Pernat assesses that the arrival of Marc Marquez to the Ducati factory team has the potential to have a bad impact. One factory Ducati team seat which currently belongs to Inia Bastianini is being contested by at least two other names. Apart from Bastianini who still has a chance, the two other names are Marc Marquez and Jorge Martin who are currently in a positive trend. Yes, Marquez is said to be included in this rumor even though in MotoGP 2024 he is paving for Grazzini Racing, which is a Ducati customer team. Not a few people feel that the racer nicknamed Baby Alien is worthy of being Francesco Bagnaia's partner for next season. This cannot be separated from Marquez's performance, which tends to improve compared to when he spent the last seasons at Honda. The winner of eight world titles did not need long to adapt to the Desmosetisi GP23 motorbike. Even though he uses an older type motorbike than Bagnaia, Bastianini and even Martin at Promac Racing, Marquez can compete. Until MotoGP 2024 completes five series, the racer from Spain has achieved two podiums in the main race session. Grazzini racer, Marc Marquez, celebrates the second podium in the 2024 French MotoGP sprint race at the Le Mans circuit. The green light has even been thrown by Luigi Dalligna as general manager of Ducati Course, who has long been interested. The man from Italy really takes into account Marquez's brilliant history in previous seasons, who was so dominant in the first class. What's more, he is the winner of eight world titles and has won many MotoGP races since making his debut. In terms of achievements, wins in races and world titles, Marquez is certainly superior to Martin and Bastianini. To be honest, 
We will not only consider the results of the 2024 season races, explained Daligna, but also considering the history of our drivers. I think that's important. However, it was a very difficult decision because all three riders were really winners, so we'll see, he added. The inclusion of Marquez's name in the market for a move to the factory Ducati team also attracted Carlo Pernat's attention. The famous MotoGP observer from Italy believes that Marquez's arrival could damage Ducati from within. The balance of the team will be disturbed because the manufacturer from Bologna, Italy has made a policy that focuses on young riders. I always said that Marquez's arrival at Ducati would disrupt the balance after implementing a policy for young riders and winning, said Pernat. Now it is difficult what to do, they have created this problem themselves, he added. In other information. There are fewer factory teams that Marc Marquez can choose for MotoGP 2025. Because KTM, as one of the manufacturers that was widely rumored to be the place where the six-time MotoGP world champion landed, instead closed the door to him. It was Pitt Beirer, KTM's motorsport director himself who said that Marc Marquez was not their target for MotoGP 2025. The man who is also a former motocross racer said that his party considers Marc Marquez to be one of the heroes in the MotoGP arena. We also really respect him, but I think Marc Marquez is not a realistic option for us, said Beirer, quoted by Motorsport Magazine, Friday. Beirer revealed that he had spoken to Marc Marquez before and said that what Marc wanted was just a competitive motorbike. Because now he can get this at Grazzini racing in the form of the Ducati Desmosetisi GP23, Byrer also said that it would be difficult for Mark to move again to KTM. That's why I can't see him changing manufacturers again, because that means he has to start from zero again, explained Byrer. Mark Marquez is a brilliant racer, but for me it is not realistic for us to ask for a commitment from Mark Marquez, he concluded. As mentioned above, this will certainly make Marc Marquez's choices for MotoGP 2025 even more limited. The racer who is identical to the starting number 93 himself admitted that he doesn't care what motorbike he has to ride next season. The most important thing in his eyes is that the motorbike is a motorbike with factory specifications, especially after seeing that it can be competitive with the Ducati Desmosetisi GP23. Because of that, for me it is clear that next year I want to have the latest evolution of any motorbike, with any color, from any manufacturer," said Marc Marquez on a separate occasion. You have more opportunities to fight for the world champion title with the most advanced motorbike," he concluded. I see her rolling up, Uber black Cadillac, high heel boots and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad, after her there ain't no coming back, wanna take a run at that. I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees.